Imagine getting regular payments from the state with no strings attached. Sounds good, right? The concept I'm talking about is universal basic income. Universal basic income is a government program in which every adult citizen receives a set amount of money on a regular basis. The idea of providing a regular guaranteed payment to citizens, regardless of the, their need, has been around for centuries, starting with ideas of Thomas More in 16th century. No wonder it has been quite popular for the last couple of years. In contemporary situation, with the whole bunch of unsettling repercussions of COVID-19 pandemic, this concept seemed, seems as relevant as ever. Now, let's look at the positive sides of UBI. First of all, it provides a financial safety net for all people regardless of their work status and level of income. Secondly, it may prevent a huge crisis uh, which soon can be caused by a general automatization of workforce and uh, it can help many people avoid poverty. And, uh, thirdly, unlike unemployment benefits, it does not involve any unnecessary bureaucracy and obligations from recipients. And finally, it improves well-being and people's feeling of safety for their future. Now let's look at the negative features of UBI. So the first point here is that the cost of a program could be too high to sustain it for a period of time that would be enough to bring uh, any significant benefits. And the second feature is that uh, people may lose a defining incentive to work, meaning that this source of income can allow them to just quit their jobs and stop working. Although we do not have much data, there are many cases of experimental trials which prove uh, that the idea of UBI is rather effective and has significant benefits for the citizens. Now let's look at one of the cases. In Finland's two-year study in 2017 uh, uh, and 18, a group of 2,000 randomly picked people who were initially unemployed received a guaranteed un and unconditional uh, cash payment of uh, 560 euros per month. And uh, uh, these payments were, were not means tested. So it meant that even when people uh, got uh, jobs or were promoted, they still had uh, those payments. And the study compared the employment and well-being of uh, basic income recipients against a control group of 173,000 of people who were on unemployment benefits. When surveyed, people who received universal basic income uh, instead of regular benefits uh, of unemployment reported better financial well-being, mental health, and overall cognitive functioning, as well as higher levels of confidence in the future. In addition, this study proves wrong two criticism to the idea of basic income. Firstly, the final results of uh, the program state that a basic income actually had a positive impact on employment and people on the basic income uh, were more likely to get a job rather than those in the control group. And the difference was uh, quite significant. And the second thing is that uh, the uh, allowance of 560 euros per month was significantly lower uh, than the incomes of most Finnish households, which uh, did not allow people just to leave their jobs. In fact, uh, about 130 countries took part in uh, different uh, cash transfer strategies. Uh, however, there is a considerable problem here. With a few exceptions, such as Kenya, Iran and uh, Alaska, uh, basic income programs are offering money to a small amount of people and uh, not an entire polity, which means that here we're talking about uh, the basic income programs, but not a universal, ba uh, universal uh, basic income ones. Taking this into account, should we uh, give up this idea? In my opinion, no, and here is why. So first of all, uh, according to the results of experimental programs, basic income has a significantly positive impact on the well-being and financial security. And the 2020 report by the Universal Basic by Stanford Basic Income Lab states that overall evidence suggests that unconditional cash in low and middle income countries leads to a measurable decrease in poverty. Consequently, national level impact could be much uh, even more considerable. Secondly, the implementation of uh, such programs uh, can be too costly at first, but uh, if the governments uh, can uh, imply them, 
implement them on the smaller scales and then gradually widen them on a national level, then the problem could be solved and we could observe a self-fulfilling prophe uh, prophecy at its best in the future. And finally, UPI can serve as a kind of insurance for people to pursue the dreams uh, and find their dream jobs without being afraid of being uh, in a complete poverty. And uh, I think we can all agree that if people love their jobs, then can, they can be the most productive there. Therefore, as much as UPI can seem like an utopia, it can be brought to life. And at the very least, it can be a perfect ideal to strive for. And on this uh, posit rather positive note, I'd like to thank you for your attention.